Hello my friends. In today's lesson, we're gonna cover one of the essential skills that every scale modeler is gonna to have to learn at some point in his or her modeling journey, applying water slide decals. Now, most model kits that you pick up, whether they're military models or car models or aircraft models, you name it, they're gonna have at least a few decals. Unlike stickers, which have an adhesive backing, decals are printed on a thin transparent film that's activated by water, hence the water slide piece of the name and then they're gonna permanently conform to pretty much any shape you place them on once they dry. And decals are great because they add a whole level of detail to a model that often can be too difficult to replicate with paint for most hobbyists. Decals can be a little intimidating though, if you've never used them before. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at a simple formula for applying decals to your model kit that'll have your kit looking like a million bucks in no time at all. So with that said, let's hop right into it. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be applying some basic markings to this German SDKFZ 222 armored car that I'm refurbishing, but these tips are going to work for just about any subject you've got on your workbench at home. Here's a quick list of all the items we're going to need to apply our decals. Up first, a vehicle obviously, and worth noting here, you're going to want to wait to apply your decals until after your painting is complete. That is important. We'll need our decals of course. These are going to come on a little sheet like this. We'll need a clean, shallow bowl of tap water. I've been using my wife's lucky snow white bowl from when she was a kiddo for pretty much every single kit I've made in the last few years, so works out great. We'll need some tweezers. These right here are called cross lock tweezers. They work great for decals, but if you only have regular tweezers at home, that is okay. If you do wanna snag yourself a set of these tweezers though, I'll have links for these and all the other products we use today down in the description below. We're gonna need our hobby knife. And we're gonna need these two miracle products right here. Micro Set and Micro Sol. These are gonna cost you maybe 20 bucks and they're gonna last you years and years of model building. So well worth the investment. And we're gonna need a couple of paintbrushes. Just a couple old ones from your lineup will work just fine. Now the very first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do here to our fully painted model is spray the entire kit with a coat of clear gloss varnish. This is gonna protect our paintwork and create a nice layer for the decals to settle on. Now there are two ways of applying a gloss coat. If you have an airbrush like I'm using here, you can spray it on with that. I like to use this AK Interactive Intermediate Gauzy Agent. But if you don't have an airbrush, you can get yourself a rattle can of gloss varnish and that works too. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and apply an even coat of varnish all over your model. Now it's super important to let that clear coat cure completely before moving on. A couple of hours will probably do, but if you wanna be really safe, set your model aside and let it dry overnight. All right, now to get started, you're gonna to wanna to find the part of your instruction booklet that shows where all the decals are supposed to go. For example, this one is from a Panzer IV kit, but that's all right, it's just for reference. You'll see on the decal sheet itself that each decal is numbered, and the instruction booklet is gonna tell you where each numbered decal is supposed to go, depending on the vehicle you choose to replicate. Once you've got a decal to start with, you're gonna to wanna to cut it off the decal sheet with your hobby knife. Now, you don't have to cut out the exact shape of the marking, the blue part of the decal sheet that you see here is just the backing paper, and that's actually gonna come off once we soak it in water, leaving behind just the decal. So once you've got your decal cut out, we're gonna grab it with our tweezers, and we're gonna drop that right into our water bowl and let it soak for about 60 seconds. And while our decal is soaking in the water, we're gonna grab our micro set. This is the blue bottle that I showed you earlier. And using one of our brushes, we're gonna apply a little bit of that on the area where our decal is going to go. And what this does is it helps soften the decal once it's on there so it conforms really well and it makes sure that it sits nicely on the surface of your kit. Now let's grab our decal and see how it's doing. You can see here that I just barely touched the decal and it's already sliding around on the backing paper and that is exactly how we want it. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna cheat the edge of the decal up just a little bit over the edge of the backing paper and then I'm gonna transfer it into place on the kit using the back of my hobby knife. Boom, decal number one on your kit. Now, it might go on a little crooked, that is okay. While the decal is still wet, we're gonna adjust it into its perfect position with the back of our knife. And then, we're just gonna leave it alone. As the water and the micro set dry and evaporate off the kit, the decal is gonna be left behind and it's gonna adhere permanently to that spot. All right, now that we've got our first decal on there, we're gonna move all around our kit and repeat that process as many times as necessary until all of our decals are applied to the model as called out in our instruction booklet. Now, once all your decals are on the vehicle, we're gonna walk away for a little while and we're gonna let everything dry and settle for at least an hour or so. 
And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the red bottle I showed you earlier. This one is called Microsol. And this is gonna help settle out any tiny wrinkles or bubbles or imperfections in how our decal sat on the kit. Using our other brush, we don't wanna cross contaminate products here. We're gonna carefully brush a little bit of Microsol onto each of our decals. Now, if you do have any wrinkles or anything, don't try and push them out. Just apply some Microsol, let it sit, let it dry, and repeat that process as necessary. If you try and touch the decals too much, they're gonna get damaged. Let the Microsol do its thing and flatten out any of those imperfections. And once you're happy with how all the decals have settled, if they're looking good, you can let everything dry completely, and then we're gonna spray on another gloss coat. And once that gloss coat is cured over your decals, you're all set to move on to weathering without any fear of messing up your work. So I hope you guys like that little crash course on decal application. If you stick with this formula, go slow, take your time, trust your products, you're gonna get the hang of it really quickly. And then you can start taking on difficult textures and shapes, all sorts of fun stuff. Now, if you'd like to carry on with our next lesson and learn how to weather up your model once the decals are all set, you can do so right here.